Hello, and welcome to Meditating the Word. I'm so glad you joined us. We're reading the entire Bible this year in chronological order. If you'd like to download a copy of the reading plan, just go to blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. The translation I'm reading from is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite translation. Today is Day 57. We will continue reading from the Book of Numbers, just one chapter today. The Fourth Book of Moses, commonly called Numbers, Chapter 7. On the day that Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, and had anointed it and sanctified it with all its furniture, and the altar with all its vessels, and had anointed and sanctified them, the princes of Israel, the heads of their fathers' houses, gave offerings. These were the princes of the tribes. These are they who were over those who were counted, and they brought their offering before the Lord. Six covered wagons and twelve oxen, a wagon for every two of the princes, and for each one an ox. They presented them before the tabernacle. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these from them, that they may be used in doing the service of the tent of meeting, and you shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two wagons and four oxen to the sons of Gershon according to their service. He gave four wagons and eight oxen to the sons of Merari according to their service, under the direction of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because the service of the sanctuary belonged to them. They carried it on their shoulders. The princes gave offerings for the dedication of the altar in the day that it was anointed. The princes gave their offerings before the altar. The Lord said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, each prince on his day, for the dedication of the altar. He who offered his offering the first day was Nishan, the son of Amminadab, of the tribe of Judah, and his offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nishan, the son of Amminadab. On the second day, Nethanel, the son of Zuar, prince of Issachar, gave his offering. He offered for his offering one silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of tin shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nethanel, the son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, prince of the children of Zebulun, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil, for a meal offering one golden ladle of tin shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old, 
for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helan. On the fourth day, Elizer, the son of Shedur, prince of the children of Reuben, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb, one year old, for a burnt offering, and one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elizer, the son of Shedur. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, the son of Zerushadai, prince of the children of Simeon, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Shalumia, the son of Zerushadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, prince of the children of Gad, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliasaph, the son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amihud, prince of the children of Ephraim, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of tin shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eli Shama, the son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, prince of the children of Manasseh, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of tin shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur. On the ninth day, Abaddon, the son of Gideonai, 
the prince of the children of Benjamin, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense. One young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai, prince of the children of Dan, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, the son of Akran, prince of the children of Asher, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering, one golden ladle of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Pagiel, the son of Akran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Enan, prince of the children of Naphtali, gave his offering. One silver platter, the weight of which was one hundred thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a meal offering. One golden ladle of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two head of cattle, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Anan. This was the dedication offering of the altar on the day when it was anointed by the princes of Israel, twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, twelve golden ladles, each silver platter weighing one hundred thirty shekels and each bowl seventy, all the silver of the vessels two thousand four hundred shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, the twelve golden ladles full of incense weighing ten shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, all the gold of the ladles, weighing one hundred twenty shekels, all the cattle for the burnt offering, twelve bulls and rams, twelve, the male lambs a year old, twelve, and their meal offering, and twelve male goats for a sin offering, and all the cattle for the sacrifice of peace offerings, twenty-four bulls, sixty rams, sixty male goats, and sixty male lambs a year old. This was the dedication offering of the altar after it was anointed. When Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard his voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim, and he spoke to him.
Father God, just as Moses was able to enter the tabernacle and speak with you, as a friend speaks to his friend, we are able to do the same, all because of the blood of Jesus. The yearly sacrifices were all fulfilled by his sacrifice once and for all. Thank you, Father, for providing a way to restore us to righteousness, to right standing with you. For that, we give you praise forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to invite you to join our Facebook community and to share your thoughts about today's reading. I put a link in the notes. We've come a long way, and we still have a lot of people to meet and a lot of experiences to share. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey, reading the Bible in a year. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this podcast and share it and know that I am praying for you as we journey together. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.